Alright, cool. Welcome back to another one of my solo episodes. I'm smiling today. I love this topic wholeheartedly. The ups and downs of life. Life is a roller coaster, so embrace it. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self improvement guide, all links will be down below. One of the biggest fundamentals to life is acknowledging that things are going to be good and things are going to be bad. There's no way in hell you can stop that. No matter how rich you become, no matter what level, no matter what security you obtain, you're always going to have problems. People don't understand and they don't have the right mindset when it comes to problems. People get very stressed, feel very upset. I can't do this now, I can't do that. Okay, cool. Step one, and this is kind of my approach to it. How many times in your past, let's just think about it now. How many times have you had problems where you didn't feel like, and you can probably definitely relate to this, you didn't feel like you could come out successfully on the other side. You, you felt like it was the end. You felt like, no, there's no way I can, I can escape this problem. There's no way I can make things better. But eventually, as time goes by, it might be long, might be short, and maybe you're even in the process of dealing with certain things now. And understanding that life will always have ups and downs, amazingly high highs and terrible low lows, essentially is a fundamental understanding of life in its entirety. Let's think about this right now. Kim Kardashian, and ugh, I'm not involved, I don't care, please don't tell me anything. I know she's a woman with a big ass, cool. Even people who are so ignorant to these people with celebrities don't know anything about them still. Still filters down and I see certain things. Even Kim Kardashian will still have problems, right? Think about it. Think about it for a second. She's financially free, whatever, not a typical person, the so sorts, crazy, good life and everything, da, da, da. but she's still gonna have problems to some degree. She still has lows. We all will have lows, but the difference between someone who does well and is very present with a good mental health in life is they understand that the lows won't last forever. They understand the roller coaster. Because they know that when they're suffering low, there's going to be a high. Something good's going to happen eventually. And when that high enters their life, they know that they're probably expecting a low. Of course, the key to life essentially is to be happy, right? How can you be happy? And I've said it before, happiness is essentially numerous, countless of the majority of your days being happy, being fulfilled. A good life is just numerous happy days. Okay, so... How can we extend that happiness feeling for the majority of our days where we feel so fulfilled that we end up consistently experiencing good days where we have a good life? We limit the amount of time and it kind of links to emotionally refractory periods and I spoke with Atulu. We essentially try to shorten the lows, right? We can kind of process and understand what's going on. We kind of just always adopt that faithful, positive thinking that, you know what? I'm experiencing some bad lows and weeks have gone by and months have gone by. I don't know what to do. I'm not going to, where, where do I turn? I feel lost. I feel confused. I feel destined. I feel like these few months are going to define my life years even but we were, we take a step back we view ourselves from a third person perspective and we say cool what is a few bad months what is a few bad years in the space of the longevity of my life i might have 25 bad years if i had 50 good years then my life's been happy there are of course catastrophic events that we can't control and we're all going to experience some very very bad laws but we also should hold it deep in our hearts that there's going to be a positive soon i don't know how long it will be but how we have to kind of see it is the buffer zone and let me explain so there'll be very bad lows and there'll be very good highs you can't control that yeah there might be uncontrollable things whatever the buffer zone essentially refers to the fact that yeah there will be certain times where you might experience something low but how can you limit it and there'll be certain times where you experience something positive but how can you extend it for as long as you can you can make a lot of these neutral bad experiences you can kind of flip them on its head and kind of push it to one side that's not to say you know if something someone dies to go out the next day and act like you're so happy no take all the time you need but it's down to us to adopt the right mindset for the buffer zones and to make sure we extend the positives or kind of even take a different viewpoint on maybe negative events that have happened and kind of say cool you know i've had a bad morning 
you know, I've had a few hours, things are going wrong, there's problems here, I've got bills to pay, and da, 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 but does that mean it's a bad day? No, I have an, another eight hours to try and make this as good as I can. Imagine if you didn't understand the roller coaster analogy and you just said to yourself, things are going bad, I'm just gonna make it worse, I'm gonna make it worse, I'm gonna make it worse. There's opportunities in front of you. There's certain, maybe a, an offer for your dream job comes by and you say, this looks really good, but I'm in a bad headspace and I'm not gonna do it and I don't think I'm worthy. No, we take some time out. How It doesn't matter how long it's gonna be, but then we say, cool, let me just put myself out there. Imagine you get that job and your whole life changes or something, then you start to go back on the arc. Can you see the importance of kind of taking opportunities and viewing yourself in third person where you say, kind of say, cool, what is the best for me as a whole? Right now I'm very sad, right now I'm extremely happy even. But like, will I want to do this because I'm in a happy mood now? Probably not, so let me not go for this or not make this decision. I'll say it once and I'll say it twice. The most important thing is to be level-headed. When you're experiencing very good highs, be relaxed, isn't it? I'm on track, I'm doing well, this is this is amazing. But I'm not gonna be so excited and be like, oh my God, let's do it. <laughs> Can you see the difference? Especially when you're experiencing so many bad lows, you're gonna say, oh, Okay, cool, time will reveal all, things will pick up again, the roller coaster analogy. I'm not gonna look into, into this too much. I'm not gonna be like, oh, forget this, I'm giving up, I'm not doing anything anymore, I don't care. I'm gonna self-sabotage myself. No, we stay very level-headed, we stay very present, we stay very neutral. So kind of the core message I want people to take from this is, in the end, things will always pick up and they'll always come back down and that's a very good thing and a bad thing it's good especially if you're experiencing something bad at the moment and a bad especially if things are going really well for you now but what we can control and the, the whole message of this video is how we react to these certain things how we view these certain things the mindset the the understanding we adopt are we gonna be very bitter and very upset and self-sabotage essentially because things are going bad? Or when things are going good, are we gonna start doing very risk-taking things and being really irrational and thinking we're the man and trying to fight people and everything like that? Or are we just gonna stay level-headed? I think you can tell which one I would go. And I hope eventually, I'm not telling people how to live their lives or anything, but you adopt and understand this roller coaster analogy that things will go up and they'll come down. They'll go up and they'll come down. And you know what? Kind of like a stock graph with any share, they'll go up and down. It, dep it doesn't matter about the peaks. It doesn't matter how high you're going or how low you're, you're going. It's the direction as a whole, right? You can go up, down, up, down so many times, but you're going in this direction. Your life's getting better, my friend. You can go up, down, up, down, and you're going down, and this way your life's getting worse, my friend. Which direction is your life going? Are you picking up momentum? Are you making the right decisions? Are you in the correct pathway? Or are you kind of spiraling and doing instant gratification activities to put you down, have a negative trajectory for your future? Remove yourself from the moment, view it from a third person perspective, and understand the roller coaster analogy where things will go good and they'll go down. But regardless of that, we stay level-headed and we stay neutral that is in my opinion the best thing and the best approach to take hopefully this offered you some value and i'll catch you in the next love and guidance everyone take care if you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide all links will be down below